Hello Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. I hope that you are doing magnificent. Let's see what we have for you. Mm, kind of being of the world, but not, or in the world, but not of the world. It's sort of like this element of uniqueness. Well, that kind of goes along with Aquarius as it is. I mean, you guys are ruled by Uranus. You are rebellious, yeah, <laughs> which is a good thing in this case. You are um, authentically you, and it's almost like you're being guided to let that side of you be shown, right? Rather than hide who you are. Allow yourself to be eccentric. Allow yourself to be, um, ooh, you've got the world. Like I was just saying, uh, in the world, but not of the world. And here's the world. Uh, that might be important, okay? So uh, Aquarius, when we have this card where we see her with the swans, but she's not a swan, right? Um, it's saying, it's, it's almost like the universe is saying, Aquarius, just be you. Don't, don't feel like you have to be like everybody else. Don't feel like you have to conform to a specific ideal that this romantic interest has for you. Right? You don't have to be somebody you're not, right? They're, they're really guiding you to let your light shine. Let you be, let you be who you are. And if this person likes you for who you are, great. If they don't, next, you know. <laughs> so I like, I like the energy your person has, but they're guarded, okay? You're a little guarded yourself. But I like this, I like the energy they have towards you. Let me start there and then we'll look at you, okay? Um, we see with this two of coins, no, something's missing here. It's like this person is enjoying their life, but they feel this sense that there's something not, not present, not present in their life. And it seems to be you, Aquarius. With the Fool card, it looks like they're considering taking a leap of faith towards you in some way. So they want a fresh new beginning with you. I love that. I love to see this desire for the fresh new beginning. And here with the Queen of Pentacles, this is a real lovely nurturing energy. This could mean a couple of different things. Um, number one, they feel like that missing coin, that missing thing here in their life is you. And they want a sense of long-term commitment. They want a sense of longevity. They want a sense of building something with you. And it's also a very nurturing energy. So if, for instance, Aquarius, you're feeling a little bit vulnerable because you're allowing your uniqueness to show, you're allowing, you're allowing yourself to be uniquely you, authentically you, and hoping that this person will find that endearing. And then with this Queen of Pentacles, we have this very nurturing, loving, giving energy. It's a strong maternal energy. Um, you may be dealing with a woman because we have the Queen of Pentacles over here, but you don't have to be. They, them, he, she, does not matter. Um, so, but we see this lovely, lovely nurturing energy of loyalty and patience and giving and caring. So I see Aquarius, that this person is very loving, very nurturing, very giving, very understanding. Um, and they're wanting to express that energy towards you. It's almost like if you're not in a relationship with this person, it's almost like this person senses that you guys would be in a good relationship together. Um, if you are in a long-term committed relationship with this person, Aquarius, and this person is very loyal, um, loves you very deeply, very much cares about you and allowing you to be yourself, which is great. But their outcome energy on their side is, is the seven of wands. It's like they're very closed off. It's almost like they don't, I, I kind of sense that maybe you two are not together because it's almost like they don't necessarily want you to know that they think that the two of you would make a good, a good couple, right? <laughs> so it's almost like they don't necessarily want you to know that because they're very guarded. They're guarding their heart. They have a lot of options, we see that here, but you're the only one that is getting through to them. So this is positive. 
your energy. Page of Swords, needing some sort of wisdom. Um, perhaps you've been kind of watching this person, waiting, trying to figure them out, trying to gain some sort of wisdom on, you know, how to best communicate with this person. There is this sense of feeling a little bit hopeless on the love front. So it's possible you and this person may have had a difficulty in the past, Aquarius. Um, and if you have had a difficulty in the, in the past, that may be why you're trying to figure out, okay, well, what do I do from here? Um, just to know, they want you to be yourself. Absolutely want you to be yourself. Don't try to change yourself for them. Um, you're going to need to be yourself in order to be fully accepted. And I love this mutual energy that you have moving towards one another because there's one of lots of love, lots of peace, lots of happiness and stability, loyalty, connection. So if you're already in a long-term committed relationship with this person, both of you, your hearts and your minds are in the right space to really build a beautiful future together. If you've gone through some sort of difficulty recently, which I do see would be the case if, if you are together, then it shows that you have everything you need in order to overcome that, to embrace each other with love and forgiveness and hope and contentment. And so I do see the two of you have a strong sense of being able to move this relationship forward. Does that make sense? You have the Wheel of Fortune. Something is changing here. Something is changing here. I feel like if things have not been moving in your favor with regards to this relationship, I see a shift. I see that changing. If, however, things have been going great, now be prepared for a, a little bit of a bump in the road because there is going to be some sort of um, detour. I don't necessarily feel it's going to derail you because you both look like you want the same thing. You know, she's over there looking at you right? Say, oh, I love my unique, I love my unique Aquarius over here. And my Aquarius wants to build something for the future. And with the world, we see a new beginning. Let me take a couple more cards after this to see where this is going. Page of Pentacles, the potential new opportunity. All right. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, a message of a message of um, a playful message, one of love, one that brings happiness, a message of potential longevity, and it looks like the two of you putting in an effort to build something new. So I see positive growth here, positive movement forward, Aquarius. But just allow yourself to be seen for who you are because you need this person. If this is the right person for you that's showing up in this reading, they're going to accept you for who you are. If the person you've been dealing with does not accept you for who you are, then they're not the person in this reading and someone new is coming along very soon. So um, please keep that in mind. And if you need a personal reading, Aquarius, I'm available Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday during the day, and Thursday during the day next week. Visit groovygypsytarot.com. Much love and light to you, Aquarius. I wish you well. Kiss, kiss. And ta-ta for now.